This is the scene as John Coffey takes the stage at his campaign headquarters, much like in Boston. Even though the election went in favor of Connolly's opponent, Marty Walsh, it was still all cheers from the crowd. John Connolly, in the midst of defeat, remained positive. I'm proud of how we've run because we made the decision to always keep this focused on the issues, on the future of the city. There was no bitterness for the hopeful Boston mayor either. John Connolly had nothing but good things to say for not only his opponent and mayor-elect, Marty Walsh, but also the soon-to-be former mayor, Tom Benito. Marty Walsh is a good man. He wants to do good things for Boston, and he will do good things for Boston. I have always known that Mayor Menino made every decision thinking about what he felt was in the best interest of Boston. We asked people to weigh in on what they thought about the election, including John Connolly. I think that Boston would have been well served by either candidate, um, but I think John Connolly had the bolder vision. I just think at the end of the day, the voters make up their mind, and I respect it. In addition to praising Mayor-elect Marty Walsh and departing Mayor Tom Menino, John Connolly thanked his many supporters for their hard work during this campaign. He also thanked his wife, Meg, who he said quit her job so that she could take care of their three children while he campaigned morning, day, and night. Throughout his concession speech, John Connolly stressed that he wants a united city of Boston, which he believes that Marty Walsh can provide. Reporting for Boston University News Service here at John Connolly headquarters, I'm Steve Sisto.